Anybody got a system? Like a PlayStation or Xbox? Ooh. Any you like to do, you know? You could do a scene where you be here. You become better than in, in like every game you play. Mmm, that's a good idea. What's popping, y'all? Let me see. What y'all niggas on? I can't start the live saying nigga right off the bat. I should at least wait a little bit. Ah, okay. I'm with that. What's going on, y'all? How y'all living? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? What y'all on? I'm gonna just on here for a hot second and just checking in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Currently watching 227. So that's fun. I can't see my chat yet. So if y'all haven't said something, I'm sorry. I can't see it. Away. Um, I need to figure out a regular time to go live with you guys. Um, that is something that I'm trying to do more of. Let me see. Boom. Okay. What's going on? Okay, we got North Carolina, Saudi, like Saudi Arabia. Okay, turn up. Let me type some real quick. Okay, okay. How's y'all week going so far? It's Wednesday, midweek. When is the big hair returning? Um. I don't know. I literally just did this, and this took a very, very long time. Uh, took a very long time, so it will be like this for a while. How is San Diego? What's going down in San Diego? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, Miss Born, Wumista, get him, Miss Born. What kind of name is Wumista? What's the what's the background on Wumista? F fill me in. Um, shout out to Nashville. Hey Gerald, appreciate the love. LG3, appreciate you. Okay. What's going down in DC? Carol just got back from Myrtle Beach. I just literally Wanted to do a little check in, see what y'all on. I'm over here brainstorming some new um, sketch ideas. So I'm trying to figure out the rest of the week which ones I'm gonna shoot. So I'm kind of like stuck, you know what I mean? Um, Shout out to Alvin in Dallas, Texas, my hometown. We'll always, always turn it up for Dallas. It's just saying I came up with when you see shit happening out the blue, like Woomista. Flat out. Like that. <laughs> like a flex off of uh, one-on-one -on -one flat out. That was good. Um, yeah, smash that like button, the real New York. Shout out to you. Okay, he goes Chappelle with the all caps, got to yell and stuff. Don't be yelling in the chat. Can I just get down the, can I just take my time and go down the thing? Why you got to all caps, man? We just getting started. We literally just getting started. <laughs> I 
Woo! Shout out to you guys. Hey, Tony, what's popping? Happy Wednesday to everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am not here to take up a lot of y'all time. I'm really just brainstorming some ideas um, for my shoot tomorrow um, and my shoot Friday. I'm really trying to figure out what's popping. Well, Chappelle, is that right? Is it Chappelle? Is it? I'm pretty sure it's Chappelle. Um, we'll take the caps off, okay? Because caps read like you're yelling to other people, okay? If they don't know you. So you got to relax, all right? Um, but shout out to you, though. Carol Roy, happy hump day, everybody. Um, it was a, a okay day here in Los Angeles, California. Nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Okay, Chappelle, got you. Um... Yeah, so I'm brainstorming some ideas. I think I want to shoot um, my follow-up to geriatric fantasies, but all the actors I don't think are going to be available um, last minute. That is my dryer. Honey, can you just open it? Sorry. You just playing your game? I'm sorry. Uh, me? Okay. All right, <clears throat> but yeah, what y'all on? Y'all, I'm sure y'all off for work and stuff. Unless you work the night shift, you might be just not going in. Thank Thanks, Chappelle. You're the best. Um, but yeah, y'all, I need some. I need some sketch ideas. Um, man, I said probably in a few lives ago that people like y'all email me or whatever and <laughs> Let, let's just say I, I won't I, I won't say that anymore you know what I mean um T Rizmo said if you want to get started writing YouTube sketches how do you get started real life real life scenarios stuff you saw on TV that was funny um Real life, that is how you write. That's literally when I be coming up with sketches or, you know, friends that I work with, they come up with their sketches. Real life. Real life, that's it. You wanna see my gray patch right here? You wanna see that? You see that right there? Gray. I'm gonna have to dot my hair, y'all. <clears throat> Too young to be having a gray streak. But yeah, real life scenarios, crazy family members that you got. I also, when I be writing sketches, this helps me a lot. When I am, when I think about a scenario going completely wrong. So say something happened in your life or like something happened with your friends and it, it worked out. Just imagine like, what if that situation didn't work out? What would happen? Like, you know what I mean? What would be the worst case scenario? And then write that. Exaggerate stuff, you know? Um. Oh, what do you do with it? Shit, acting it yourself. Call your, call your, uh, call your people up. So the wheelchair picture is from a sketch that I did with. Um, I think I got the same tank on. Uh, with Ja. I think it's called La Harden. Hey La Harden. Hey La Jordan. Hey La Jordan. So look that up on his. How oh, his sketch. Do a sketch get on bugaboos. That's a good one. Chappelle, that is a good one. Um, what else y'all talking about in here? You should write a sketch about fake women. J5. J5, what's your name? Do I know you? Are you my homegirl, J5? <laughs> um... Yeah, that's a good idea. Fake women. Um, I don't know. I've been watching. Uh, thank you so much, Maynard or Maynard. I've been watching um a lot of old school TV, a lot of two two seven, um, a lot of uh, the Cosby Show. I'm so happy that it's on Prime. So okay, J Five said nah, nah, you don't know me. Okay, cool. Um, but that's good. Fake women. I was thinking about doing a sketch on um 
uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, on um, like people who be exaggerating all the time, catch people in their lies and stuff. So I don't know. I'm just bouncing. I'm just bouncing ideas off. You know. But a skit on bugaboos is a good idea. A sketch on bugaboos. Y'all know which one I like. I'm gonna do again. I haven't um the um he can't take the hint or I know what you think. Like the sketch I did with Jay Horn, where like we get to hear our thoughts. I think I'm gonna do that again. That was fun, and I feel like you should, you know, hear our thoughts again. So I'm gonna do that. I need to close my blinds. It got dark. But yeah, y'all. Um, I did not want anything. I'm literally up here brainstorming. I'm like, let me go live to see what these niggas is talking about on here. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe they'll get, inspire me to think of something new. But um, yeah, you have to put a lot of makeup on eyelashes and complain. You would have to put on a lot of makeup and eyelashes, nails, and then complain why men are fake. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Shout out to Mr. Cooper. The love is reciprocated. Okay. Quepe. Quepe. Said, whatever you do, I'm about that life. Thank you so much. Uh, Maynard said, can I discuss my career goals? Ooh. Uh, being on your television. Period. 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 Point blank, baby. Um... But yeah, that's where that's that's always been the main goal. TV and film always been the main goal. A funny skit with women taking self defense classes. We, that is that has that was an idea that came up. That was an idea that came up. I like that. I like that. My D, I appreciate you. I appreciate all you guys. I appreciate everyone for checking in with me. You know what I'm saying? We all just on this journey called life. <laughs> you feel me? Um, but that's a good idea. The self-defense classes. Um, I got this thing on prop gun that I really been wanting to do more sketches with. So now I got to just think of reasons to pull out a gun on a nigga. <laughs> Basically, you know. Um, the ICU skit. That was a good one. Is that Tenderfoot? That was a good one. What's up, Jamil? Shout out to you. Shout out to you guys, all y'all from all the different places. You know what I'm saying? With all the different faces. You know what I'm saying? Um, a female attorney who represents her clients for sex. Okay, what would that look like some more? Speaking of some more, I was talking about some more, the comedian the other day. She's fabulous. And if y'all don't know who that is, y'all need to look her up and watch her comic view stuff and her old stuff. Um, J5 said, what about Tinder dates? That would be good. Do Are people on Tinder still? Tell me the truth. Okay. Tell me if y'all is on day nap still right now in the whole panorama, in the whole Panty D, in the whole Pantene Pro V, or y'all on these apps meeting people you don't know and going up to meet with them? Tell me that. Tell me that. I'm going to be honest, okay? Thinking about, uh, sorry, was 227 too loud? Thinking about um, dating on an app is terrifying to me, okay? It sounds very scary. Um, I meet people in person every day, all day, and I could just meet a motherfucker, you know what I mean, in real life. So meeting somebody on the app, it seems scary. Y'all not scared of that? Not scared because I know there's a lot of guys. and You're not scared, but I mean, like, y'all not like, you know, I want to see you interact. I want to see your energy before him. And then make the determination. Do y'all be picking up women in grocery stores? 
if I was a guy, let okay. Where would you tell your single homeboy to go to find women? Where do y'all be going to find single women? Because if I was a dude, I would be going to the grocery store. And then I would be going to the fancy grocery stores too. You know what I'm saying? Because I want a, I want a young lady um, <clears throat> with a balanced diet. Okay? So that's what I would do. But where y'all going? Y'all going to the grocery store? I feel like during the pandemic, it's like, low-key, you can meet a woman at the gas station. I mean, that's more of like divine timing, I guess, because you would have to literally just be sitting there waiting for a fine woman to get out her car to pump gas, and that's weird. So, but the grocery store, yeah, the I, I would say the gym, but I hate, I do not like going to the gym with people in it. I like to work out by myself or like with a trainer or whatever. So, but yeah, where y'all going to meet people? That's a good idea. The Tinder date thing is good. <clears throat> Instead of Florida man, how about Florida woman headline? Pimp name Slipback. Hilarious. Okay. Florida lady. Yep. The dollar store. Warren, you got to stop going to the dollar store looking for hoes. I'm just joking. You got to stop going to the dollar store, trying to find women in the dollar store. Even though I shop at the dollar store. The dollar store is a very resourceful place to go. I just bought some candle lighters. Y'all know the lighters that's long so you can light your candles. I just bought like five of them mugs from the dollar store and they like three dollars in Target. They like a dollar the dollar store. So I just got a bunch of them. So, but I don't know about the dollar store. You might have to back it up. I'm just here to see pretty brown skin without makeup. Here it is. Mm -hmm. I might put like a little serum on. I actually just washed my face. <clears throat> mm hmm. Waiting outside from a prison when visiting hours are over. That's where you find women at? Hey, that's a, that might be a good spot for finding women. For me and not so much, but getting a woman like straight out of jail don't sound horrible. You know what I mean? She know how to live on a little. She gonna appreciate a lot. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, I'm trying not to get this on my screen. <clears throat> but, um, you love black women, cute ass. Now, let me tell you something. Puppies is cute. I'm beautiful. So, just to let you, just to let y'all know that, just in case you wasn't sure. Um, I meet women at the grocery store, library, everywhere. Shout out to everywhere. Now, are you going to the library right now? Because the library has been closed. Because I actually love the library, and it's been closed. So, where you live at? The library open? Where you at? Where you at, Maynard? No joke. I just took a film of the Chuck E. Cheese. She loved it, but you can flip it. You can see that being funny. Why did you take a grown woman to Chuck E. Cheese? Did you take her kids and her to Chuck E. Cheese? You're getting the pause in the background right now. I just want you to know, J5. The room is the room thought that was funny. Are you um are you why are you taking a grown woman to Chuck E. Cheese? The library's open in Virginia. I wish it was open in California. Is the library open here? It's a lot of they're not open. Here, do y'all have the Libby app where you can get library books on your phone for free? If you don't, check it out. You can get audio books. Chuck E. Cheese, though. If I'm dating a dude and he like, I want to take you out. I don't have no kids yet either. And he like, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm be like, what? What? Huh? <laughs> my friend said that is Dave and Buster's but cheaper Chuck E. Cheese that is not for adults and I don't even eat pizza no more because I know I heard from the grapevine Chuck E. Cheese got that got some good pizza but I don't even eat pizza no more so what we going for you know what I'm saying <laughs> look J5 we said at the same time the elements of surprise plus a guy good pizza I did hear my mama and my granny everybody say that Chuck E. Cheese got good pizza. Are there Chuck E. Cheese in LA? They spread out though. It's not that many though, I feel like. It's more Chuck E. Cheese's in other parts, but in LA, oh, in LA, I don't, I feel like I ain't seen a lot of Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, oh. well, funny. Um, you live in Atlanta, shout out to Atlanta. I'll be there soon, actually. I just don't know exactly when, but. August is July 28th. So next month I will be in Atlanta. Love Atlanta so much. 
Um, is dumpster juice for real? Dumpster juice? Is that like saying it's bad? Um, D. Harris, I am from Dallas. Yeah, I mean, you can go. See, here's the thing, J5. If you're trying to take a woman out, you can go somewhere to see if she's competitive that's not Chuck E. Cheese. But I'm not hating too much because it's like, it's cute. You know, it's funny. I think it's funny. It's funny. Like, I will appreciate your sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? I would appreciate that. So I wouldn't even be like, ah, I'll be like, this nigga took me to Chuck E. Cheese. We have fun. You know what I'm saying? But don't get your big ass in them balls. Okay? You know what I'm talking about. Y'all grown ass don't belong in the balls. They probably got it closed because it's COVID, but don't you hop your ass in them damn balls. Um, I do need to have a movie deal. I really do. I really do. Um, but yeah, I was just asking where y'all would go to find some single women at. You know, I got some single lady friends and like, do y'all, okay, let me ask y'all this. Do y'all care if one of y'all friends... But you can see you can play the basketball in um, J5 and can play the basketball in uh, other arcades. You can go to a grown arcade. Um, do y'all care if one of y'all friends try to hook y'all up? Like, do y'all have friends that um, try to match make y'all and stuff? Like, do niggas care about that? Is that offensive? If your friend is like, oh, I know a lady that would be perfect for you. Is that offensive? Oh, Kadari say, what we talking about? I came in on balls. Okay, we talking about Chuck E. Cheese, go, taking a woman out for a date and taking her to Chuck E. Cheese. And I said, don't get up in them balls. <laughs> that would be a perfect place to come in on. Though. That's funny. That is funny. No hookups. Tony Reese said no hookups. Y'all not trying to y'all not trying to get a, a matchmaker. I mean, I'm sorry, if your friend trying to match with you, because here's the thing. I got a lot of friends. I got a lot of single male friends. And then I got a lot of single lady friends. Um, well, not a lot, but like I can count, you know, at least five or six or whatever. So it's like, dang, I'll be thinking like, dang, should I let one friend know? Like, you should holler at my other friend or vice versa, you know? But what, write that down? What do you mean? Trying to match make? Oh, coming up with ideas. That's it. That is a good idea. I think that's ain't going wrong every time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like some people, some people, um, don't like that. Be like, oh, don't match me up. Like I, ain't, I ain't never really had no issue finding my own dude on my own. But I will say that if somebody approached me and was like, oh, I want you to meet this guy, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I wouldn't be a cop. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, everybody in my circle married. That's good. That's good. Married friends is good. What? Babe? With what? Not. Na- <laughs> I'm saying in. Gen- I'm saying if it's, is it offensive? To you, see, you missed my question over being messy. No, I wouldn't be offensive. I'm offense offended. Sorry. Um, everybody in Hermit Circle is married. Don't hook me up as a man. I don't want to lose your a friend by smashing your friend. That is why I like to mind my business because when my friends be fighting and stuff, I don't want to be in the middle of that. Because what if it do go wrong? You know, then you like, okay, shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, D. Harris said, do I like being single? Um, when I was single, I was not mad about it at all. I was enjoying it, actually. I'm like a serial relationship person. So when I was single, I was just like, okay, you know what I mean? I'm living my best life. And then I became not, not single again. So, <laughs> yeah. Healthy and and I'm assuming that's glowing between your eyebrows right now. Am I? Just glowing right here. That's it. Yeah, really. I should have put some makeup on before I came on here to talk to y'all, actually. I should have did something to my, to my face. But I figure, you know, y'all deserve. Y'all deserve to get fresh face. No makeup, Marche. I don't know. Um, Tony Reed said, because if it backfired, it'd be your fault, which is true. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't even, 
I mean, I mention it and let the other person know, like, I'm I'm introducing y'all, but like, hey, enter enter in with your own, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, enter in with caution. Uh, D. Harris said, "Who is my favorite actress right now?" I have a lot of favorites, not just one. A lot. My friends, my friends that are acting right now, I love them. Uh, my friend Karen, her movie's coming out tomorrow on Netflix, Resort to Love. She's one of my favorites. Issa Rae is one of my favorites. Queen Latifah is one of my favorites. Uh, Jack Hay. I'm watching 227 right now. And let me tell y'all something. Jack Hay Harris, do she have a star? Do Jack Hay ha do, do Jack Hay have a star? Do y'all know? She need a star. Marla Gibbs just got a star. Mm -hmm. Give Jack Hay, the mama of sister, sister, a star. Period. Um, Armand said, happened too often when I was single. Made things awkward on, at special occasions with the mutuals. Agreed. Agreed. And, you know, it's kind of a compliment. I don't know. You have to see why your friend is trying to hook you up, too. Because it can be a compliment like, oh, you just so great. I want you to meet this person. Or it could low-key be like, I'm tired of you being single here, or you get on my nerves trying to hang out with me. You sing. So you got to figure out why somebody trying to trying to hook you up. Um, ah, sorry, I'm scrolling, guys. I'm scrolling. Ah, I have one guy friend, and don't trust dude setting me up. Um, you know, maybe you should allow a little trust into your life, Kadarius. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. You know what I mean? We all need it. We all need each other. We can't. We can't do this life by ourselves. So you got to trust somebody. Uh, that brings me to another question, but I'm gonna wait to ask that. But you know, you never know. Your friend, if it's your friend and they know you, then they know you. You know what I'm saying? If it's a coworker, maybe not. But if it's your if it's your nigga, right? This is a man that you trust and know. He like, hey, I got. Hey, my hunger, blah blah blah. Then you should at least hear him out. I say don't. I say don't shut him down. You know what I'm saying? At least hear him out. Um, hey King Grady, how you feeling? What's popping on your Wednesday? What's going on? I think I found a good sketch. I think you found a good sketch. Which one? The hooking people love. I think that's a good idea too. That's fun. That's fun. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna have to literally. Say something in the in the description, like all all my bros in the chat help me come up with this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Comedian King said, "Nah, natural is all around is better." You know, I mean, depend on who you ask. Okay, I'm still natural under makeup, and I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just do a little foundation or whatever. But even girls who do, you know, it's okay. You know, you got to let women live their life. You know what I mean? I could say a pet peeve, but most women is like a nigga being like, don't do this. It's like, don't just when it comes to like makeup and shit, just let women wear makeup. We'll just let them. Now I am speaking from somebody who don't wear a lot, so I'm not going to, you know, I, I, you know, if it's too much and it's caked up on there, but you know, let, let women do that thing. Um, D. Harris said, am I in a relationship with the guy who be saying poking that thing out? <laughs> no, that's Ken. He is family for sure. So, no. Um, shout out to you guys. Thanks for the compliments. Thank you, Jenny Philly. So, LG3 said, do a WAP sketch. Opposite of job wheelchair sketches with doozy pulling up with life jackets or goggles or a stoner sketch. I think LG3 is the MVP of this chat because that is the best idea I've heard tonight. So, um I'm going to have to message you because I will make that. And then I'm going to have to um, shout you out. Yeah, because that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm into that. Um, these, he, you said he's funny as a hell. You're talking about Ken? Ken is funny. Hilarious. Nick is hilarious. When you're fine as a frog hair, when you fine as frog hair, you don't need no makeup. And guess what's fine? Frog hair, okay? Fine. Can barely see it. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Comedian King. Um, I thought she was related, related to Issa Rae. I'm not, um, but she's great. I wish. You look just like Issa Rae for real, a thicker Issa Rae. You know, hey, 
she's great. We used to throw the homies at grenades all the time. Is a grenade a not 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 good looking woman? What's a grenade? Because now I'm like, what? I could see you playing on CIS or a bad cop TV drama. Yeah, that's coming up next, baby. Speak that into existence, D. Harris. Come on now. Sorry, you guys. Um. Thank you so much, D. Harris. Kadarius said he don't trust nobody. You got to earn it for real. You know, that is that is very unfortunate. You know what I mean? Because I don't know a lot of successful people that got out, got it out the mud without trusting nobody. You got to trust somebody. You got to have some type of team. You got to have people in your life. That's what God is for. You know what I mean? God is for discernment. You know, supernatural powers, God, you know, the spirit guys, the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to the universe, whatever, is to help you. The carnal stuff, right? Because we see as human beings. We see, see, see. But it's stuff we can't see. And that's what you got God for. So God can tell you who to trust. You know what I mean? So that way you don't... I'm preaching right now. <laughs> I'm preaching and y'all not even... See? That's fine. George, give your mama a kiss. What? Um, Lash knows. Okay. Grenades are taken up for the team. You know, yeah, I figured that, Community King. I figured... A grenade is like, oh, you know, she popping, but her sister, her friend is, ugh, you know what I mean? Listen, I'm a good wing man, lady, whatever. You know what I mean? I was actually at Lamarck Park not too long ago and somebody was trying to talk to my friend. Right. And I'm tall. I'm like almost five nine. So my friend was short. So it was two shorter guys and one of them was trying to talk to my friend. So the friend came up to me and was like talking with me and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm a good wing person because I'm not just going to be like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a cool person to talk to. So if we just standing there, we talking, I'm going to talk to you back. Like, what's popping or whatever? Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to take one for the team. So I, I, I'll i take one for the team. Um, As a person retiring, seeing and starting to make videos, any advice for an up and comer? Ooh, comedian king. That's a great question. Um, Just consistency. Um, having fun, make what you think is funny. Are you really, if you're really comedian or I don't know if it's just your name, your comedian, but make, make what you like, but consistency, just do it. Just keep doing it. You know, it's kind of like when we in these lives, it's like, you gotta be consistent. You know what I mean? You gotta put content out. You gotta make stuff. You gotta keep going. So do that and have, but have fun and reach out to your friends, people around you, tell them to be in your, ask them to be in your videos. You know, always people watch, keep, keep looking at what's going on and then make videos about that. I'm telling you, all my videos, like, you know, I'll be watching stuff with people and be like, that's funny. I'm gonna make a sketch about it. That's funny. I'm gonna make a sketch about it. Like, honestly, LG, L, L3, I think it was L3 or LG3, his idea about the good, good, the good poom poom. Definitely can pull from real life from that one. So we're gonna, <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna definitely do that. Um, Kaderi said, "I trust people who be with me when I'm up and down. No matter, I like to think of myself as a judge of good character." Okay. That's good. That's good for you. The no PC show was about to go to bed, but saw you on. You never. You never a wing, maybe a swing, but not a wing. No, I am a wingman at this point because I'm at the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the game. I'm at the game. You feel me? I'm just here to support all my fellow, you know what I'm saying, beautiful black people. That's what I'm here for. You know what I mean? I'm not in these streets. I'm not scoping no more. You know what I mean? I don't have to be scoped. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, it's an old, old rich billionaire that's about to die and he just need me to comfort him. Then I'm sure my partner will be okay with that. <laughs> just saying. Um, <laughs> uh, Jay Horn will play, will play y'all crazy chief police. That's funny. I just hit him up, actually. Y'all y'all um, shoot some love to Jay Horn, too. He had... Um, Something unfortunate happened with him and some folks took some things of his and he is, uh, why was that? What was that face? What was that face? Oh, 
And so y'all shot. He got, I think he's got a GoFundMe or something up right now, raising money for more film stuff. Such a good guy. We're from the same town. Um, so show him lots of love. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, okay. Let me see. I'm actually a comedian, but this editing thing makes me want to quit. Let me tell you something, Comedian King. Let me tell you, I have my mouth right now to your face. Look, I'm looking at the camera. Editing is the bane of my existence. You just got to do what you got to do. I, I I can't stand editing. I edit all my stuff. Takes me forever. And I studied it in school. I studied film production in schools. So I learned how to edit in college. I hate editing. And the goal is you build a team. You get your content going. You build a team. You get your page, mon page monetized. And then you can pay someone to edit for you. That's always the goal. Automation. And delegation is always the goal with any mogul. Okay, moguls don't do. Diddy is not out here doing all the stuff himself. He's got a team. He's got people working with him, and they get it done. So I'm, I'm definitely sending you good vibes. Um, are, are you? Where are you at, Comedian King? Where are you making videos at? Where, 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 where are you at in the country? Um, it's your facial expressions me for in your videos. You know what? No, no, PC show. My granny told me I need to stop making all them facial expressions and they're not good and I'm not a good actress. It's just like family to tell you some fucked up shit like that. <laughs> My granny was like, you always making all them weird faces. You're going to get wrinkles in your forehead. Stop doing that. I'm like, grandma, it was my birthday as well when she told me this. I was in Mexico on my birthday and she called me up and was like, oh, I saw your video, but you should stop. You overacted. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't that fucked up? It's fucked up, huh? Um, I just started about a month ago when a good friend passed. It was his dream, so I'm living it for him. You know what? And what you should do, comedian uh, King, ask him to send you some stuff. Watch. You're going to have some crazy dreams or just some great ideas, and you, you open up that channel to your friend that passed and ask him, like, hey, Help me out, bro. Send me some people or send me some ideas and watch. You're going to get, you're going to start like, he going to hook you up. You know what I mean? So that's nice. I wish you the best of luck. Jay Horn need you and she kept it on purpose. Yeah, it's coming soon. Y'all look out for that. We we got that in the works. Um, I heard about Jay Horn that made me sound. I, yeah, that's really sad. Someone broke into his car. He's made, he made a video about it. And like I said, he's got a live. So check that out. Donate if you guys, you know, care to or if you're able to, you know what I mean? He's trying to get it. I think he had like 40 or like 50K worth of equipment. Y'all know this equipment is expensive. That's another thing. Comedian King, what you're doing, your stuff. <sighs> Cameras, lights, <laughs> expensive. Audio, expensive. Um, VA, original VA was stuck in the Navy. Yeah, you know what? Use, listen, make some, you know what? Make some Navy sketches and stuff. I'm sure it's stuff that's, you know, classified, whatever, whatever. I ain't talking about, like, the deep shit. But, like, make some shit about being in the Navy or the Army or whatever. It ain't no state. I see that's a niche that ain't really out right now. It ain't a lot of dude people making stuff like that. So make sketches making fun of that. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Do what works for you. Um, I don't know what this say. I is, I just saying, with Theo B., you and Kev have some of the craziest skits out there as a team. Thanks so much. Thanks, Hurricane Millie. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to be looking for a Comedian King. Tag me in it or something. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but put a tag in there for me or whatever. Or just, I don't know, message me. I don't know. I, I'll shout it out. I'll put it on my community. I'll blast it if I like it. You know, I got to watch it first. I don't want to make no promises. But... But yeah, do that. Do that for sure. Yeah, Robert, family will tell you. My girl don't know what she's talking about. Well, she kind of do, but yeah. It's, I just think it's funny how family don't give a, a goddamn. You know what I mean? Family don't care like that. Same with your children. Children don't. <laughs> children don't care. They like, you my mom, you my daddy. I don't care if you're making videos. I need you to give me what I need. So, yeah, my granny said I'd be overacting. I said, okay, grandma. On my birthday. Did you have to tell me that on my birthday? 
Could that could that have waited until the next day or another day? But anyway, it stands for I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I I got the I'm just saying. I got that part. I G A S. I ain't saying. You know, you just put that in there. But I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you, Theo B. But all right, y'all. I literally said I was gonna be on for 20 minutes, and it's been 40. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know. Funny how time flies when you're happy. Fun. <laughs> ah, I do a political show, but all the guys help me balance. That's cool. Um, that's cool. Tariq said I'm still cute without my makeup. Okay, so let's get this straight. Let me just clear this up. I know I'm cute without makeup, y'all. I'm beautiful without makeup. Cute puppies is cute. I am a gorgeous woman, okay? Without makeup, I look fantastic. With makeup, I also look fantastic. I know. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know. I just feel like I'm going to be willing to put it on, you know what I mean? Just to present their best self. You know what I'm saying? Give you a... You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Well, I'm about to get out of here, you guys. I love y'all so much. Thank you for sharing your ideas with me. I'm going to shoot this stuff. You feel me? It gets hard out there. So y'all make sure that y'all keep me in your prayers, okay? Thanks, Tariq. Thanks, No PC Show. I appreciate it. The energy is the energy for real. That homegrown God is here different. Okay. <laughs> that part. That part, Tony Reed. That part. But no, I appreciate y'all. Um, I have uh part two and part three, the sh- the skin, the sketch I did with Ken um a while back, uh, when homie when she shoots her shot. That's gonna get posted this week. So please show that some love. Please like it, please. Um Share it. Kiwi Potato, cute name. I'm not. I'm not married for real. I'm not married at all. But one day I will be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, and I have to invite everybody. No, I'm kidding. So kidding. Um, but yeah, shout out to y'all. So yeah, thank y'all for supporting my videos. It's up there now. The one I just posted with Ken, um, it's a throwback. But show us some love, y'all. Leave some comments, like it. Watch it, share it, you know, all of those good things. I've got pressed hair in that. That's fun. My hair hasn't been pressed in years. So that's fun, you know. No, Community King, that's not true. I am going to leave. <laughs> Community King said, just say it, keep saying things. She'll actually leave. No, I'm going to go, you guys. I just really want to check in and say, I love y'all. Um, and then I fuck with y'all heavy and, you know, it's nothing but good vibes coming y'all way. So be good. Check in with y'all at the end of the week with the guest. Hopefully I keep saying that, but then it's just me. I like, ain't no guest with you, but it's cool. Love y'all. Okay. Peace and hair grease. Y'all got two more days left in the week. Kill it. Get up tomorrow. Work it out. You know what I'm saying? Go to the gym. Do what you got to do. Eat that little piece of green or whatever. Do what you got to do. Make it happen. Okay? Make it happen. Community King, make it happen. Just make your sketches and put them out there. It's so much trash out there. Just make your stuff and put it out there. Okay? Because there's people with worse shit who ain't thinking about it and just putting it out there. So you got some good shit, put shit out there. Just put it out there. Don't think nothing about it. Later on, come back and think about it. But right now, just make it and put it out there. Okay? Love y'all. I'm signing out. Kisses. Bye, you guys.